Hi there, Scorpio. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading. Hope you're doing good. Um, we are here today to do a reading from your spirit to my spirit. I open myself up as a channel, so what comes through, if they have something positive to say, it will get relayed to you. And only take what fits, right? Alright, so let's get into this reading for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Next 48 hours. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of calm with your reading right now. I don't, calm, confident, maybe? Alright. The lovers in reverse. So this is like, this is a time when there's big crossroads in life. We have different decisions to make. And so this is that one time where you can look to your past and be like, okay, now what am I not going to make in, You know, this time? What am I not going to do or make a sound judgment? No more mistakes. No more bad judgment calls uh, for the things that you have learned truly. And that's nice. Yeah, some lessons you don't have to repeat again. Some more... Some were kind of painful lessons. Um, some were about how to accept a cup, you know, because you've got you got the Queen of Cups energy as the issue. Scorpio, nice, nice, yeah. So I did say confident and that you weren't going to give up, and that energy looks like it. Okay, so let's get one more. Okay, nice. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, because that's the magician card. And this tells you advice on how to free up a delay for yourself. It's, it's about listening to your inner voice here. Okay. So, let me move back a little bit so that you can see all these cards. Okay. I hope that's better. Okay. Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands on that split. Seven of Swords and Queen of Wands in the reverse here. Something that just doesn't seem clear is how you have to go about something. The King of Swords energy is in the past. So let's start with the past energy. So this is being disciplined, possibly being not so disciplined. Maybe that was a mistake of over um, use of either drugs or alcohol, or maybe it was peer pressure like uh, influence with the drugs or alcohol. But we got discipline and obedience into our lives. It looks like if you haven't already addressed this, it looks like you have or definitely starting to because this is the Queen of Cups. And that, it, Queen of Cups, is you taking care of yourself for any past issues you may have had here is going to lead not only to your recovery, but to the recovery of your past lives here that were kind of trapped in a metaphorical chain, you could say. <clears throat> What's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Devil energy. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is doubt in yourself to maintain resources, to go without some kind of vice here on the material realm that makes you feel like they're metaphorical chains. So this is the heart of the matter. This is what you're doing. So you're breaking free from any of these addictions or toxic uh, things that, that either addictions or um, feeling like I'm not, I have to have this. If I don't have this, you know, blaming it on a state of mind possibly. But you get out of this because this right here is kind of an illusion. So you break out of that. And you take control of your own life, breaking these chains here. Metaphorically speaking, breaking the chains of this devil energy right here. Could be dealing with Capricorn, Aries. Uh, that could be the Emperor energy. I have the King of Wands here in the reverse as in the environment so 
what is helping you break free from a chain is actually something that didn't work out. And I know that's not going to be, a, it's not going to be a very um, liked response here, but it's true because you pull out of some kind of deceptive behavior or um, deception or somebody's trying to like sneak around you or something like that, but you come out of it, you decide, okay, so this didn't work. But that's the stuff that I am going to look to the past and reflect on because there are some things that you want to take with you. You want a beginner's mind, sure, but the things that have taught you well, uh, you pull those out, that's called wisdom. The Nine of Wands energy here, and by the way, I have not gotten to the Ace of Cups in reverse as a challenge because I'm waiting for the end for that. <laughs> so... The nine of wands energy is your energy and it does have to do with not giving up. Maybe you feel like you're part of this machine, but like you're the one that has to sleep and the machine may be not. I don't know. I just with the picture there. <laughs> so you're somewhat tired, maybe a lot tired, but you do have this confidence and you are persevering because you can already feel some freedom here the um moon card the moon card here future energy is it is embracing the unknown but knowing that the the future is not too unknown to you after all it's all connected and you've already lived your past and your your present so therefore you, you shouldn't be too weird to expect what's coming up in your future i think that that's something definitely you can probably google people that can talk about that quantum leaping and stuff like that having more control than you know then i have the sun energy which is this innocence in this creature there's like a creature on his hand like it looks like a mantis or something like that and it is um the praying mantis so it's a very um unique bug and looking at it with a different um in a different light so the sun and the moon you're gonna have the sun and the moon in the future because you're thinking about the sun what's coming in is the baby steps the light of the moon to help you first on an unconscious level you're gonna receive what you know you're going to receive here in the future first i hope that makes sense <laughs> okay so the outcome here is this is teaching you to listen to yourself and trust your intuition and trust your life in the way that things have unfolded thus far any kind of delays nine of pentacle energy will be up to you as you take care of yourself and understand that if you haven't seen an opportunity of love being offered to you, then it is because you've forgotten to serve yourself first. You got to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else. Um, and so I mean that quite literally, like in food and diet and exercise, you have to offer yourself that cup before it's like you want to offer this cup to everybody, but you have to offer it to yourself first and listen to your um, intuition and then any kind of things that were delays holding up your efforts they're just going to be unblocked you have the magic in you you have to believe that right nice so you're in control you're the leader here Cooperation, getting along, working together for a good cause, possibly. All right. So, guys, that's what I got for you. Let's pull some angel cards, too, for Scorpio. Oh, wow. Look at all this. This is like royalty here. Um, purples like royalty oh my goodness beautiful Archangel Uriel come into harmony and balance and use your power for peace 
Archangel Zariel, give and receive love and obey the spiritual laws. Put it whatever, you know, what your effort is or what somebody else's effort is because the effort is there and it's going to pay off. Believe that you can be the author of something and develop your own strategy moving forward and, and it will happen. Um, Archangel Sandalphon, bring uh, tune in to your divine potential and bring the world into harmony. Two with harmony and then giving and receiving love. So, yes, you're much appreciated here. Sending you love and light. Bye, guys.